Hi, my YouTube followers. I decided to do a video today to introduce myself to some of the people that um, are liking my channel. I love, I want to touch a few subjects and I only have like 15 minutes to do this. But um, my videos cannot be any longer than 15 minutes because of violations that I've had on YouTube. So I just wanted to explain to you that violations that I didn't know I would get violated on, but it's cool. Anyway, I want to touch basis on some of the dedication videos that I do. I love doing those videos. Um, I get in trouble for using the music, but I love doing the videos because I like to show tributes to different people such as my mom, um, such as Fantasia's grandmother, and um, a few more people, cousins, my dad. You know, I like to do little stuff like that um, just to... to show how much I appreciate them and use some of the music. I'm no, in no way am I trying to uh, um, violate anything from record companies and stuff like that. If anything, I think it benefits the record company for us to do these things. Um, my Kiki, um, my Kiki Wyatt um, lyric video, that was my very first video that I did um, like a karaoke type thing to. So I wanted to play around with um, some of the things that I do. And I was like, hey, you know, I really like going in, um, singing along to some of these people's videos because I sing a little bit. If you can see in some of my videos, I'm not the, you know, best singer in the world, but, you know, I can hold the tune. But um, I like to go in and um, I'm trying to get on my YouTube page here um, and you know, play around because I I'm a photographer and a graphic design um, artist, and um, I'm into videography. But the only thing it is like with um, my Fantasia videos is I've been recording her concerts forever, and um, I have some that I can't even put up here because I was told that I can't use them. But for any of the people out there, know that Fantasia does see. The videos and um, she appreciates me posting the videos so that you know fans get to see and a lot of people for my videos they want to go out and hey I want to go see Fantasia now because I've seen this video so thank you for um, choosing to go see one of her shows from watching the concerts because that's why I do it so people can get this Fantasia experience and um, they'll want to go and see her and it happens whether you see her video or not I think you still gonna want to go see her because she was such an awesome force on American Idol so um, she she just delights in her fans and she makes you feel so welcome when you're around her um, I, I really do appreciate you guys going to see him now in the beginning I don't know if you can kind of tell like I did a lot of shaky stuff you know you see the camera shaking and people used to complain and gripe about you know the video shaking number one even though i am a professional when i am at her concert i am a fan so i am recording at a fan standpoint which is kind of hard because i'm holding the camera the whole time i don't have a tripod to, you know there at the show they don't allow me to do that to put the camera on and have a decent recording so hopefully in the near future we're gonna pray for this that I'm able to start doing that soon um, the, the tripod and get you some nice steady videos and some real slow zooming out and zooming in like a video is supposed to be I'm kind of limited to what I can do because I'm sitting down I'm holding the camera my arms are get hurting really bad and um, it, it's just hard for me to keep the camera still and then I have those moments when I was trying to record and take pictures and imagine me holding my my camera and I have a DSLR camera a Nikon so it's kind of heavy and so I, sometimes I'm videoing and trying to take pictures and the camera that I'm recording is all over the place but my greediness is trying to get everything so now I have a better camera still trying to learn it because I just did this last show where it's titled Fantasia Live in Maryland. I kind of try to be limited with my titles because YouTube, they, they would just try to violate you for everything. So I can't wait for, you know, maybe I don't really get too many violations on Fantasia's videos, but because um, her record company hasn't really done a lot of complaining and she doesn't either. And I think that she likes, you know, some of them that 
we're posting. But um, I'm learning the camera that I got, the new camera that I have. And it's easier to hold because, you know, the strap and everything in it, you know, it I don't shake quite as much. But I was on this last one because I didn't know what buttons to zoom in and out. And it was just hard when I should have been kind of practicing with the camera before the show. And believe it or not, since the show, I have not been practicing with that camera. I've kind of played with it a little bit, but haven't like... um practice to get really used to the zoom in and zoom out and be able to be steady because the camera is really really hot to hold and if you can just keep your arms still then you can kind of be steady but you know it's hard for me because I'll be all over the place my arms be hurting holding the camera up I'll be having to rest them on my leg and little different things like that so um I just wanted to come and kind of introduce myself to the people on my channel so they'll know this is who puts the videos out now there is one video that I posted that has like so totally taken me out of my freaking character with some of these people um, it's a video with a girl she was at a um, store and she was stealing I just so happened my I don't even live in that neighborhood um, my, we were riding by my daughter needed to go in the store. So we pulled and we went to that store and I'm sitting in the car waiting on my daughter. Right. And I'm wondering like, what the heck is taking her so long? So I could see her motioning me, mom, you know, telling me to come here, come here, come here, you know? So I go in the store. I'm I already have my phone on me. So I, I start hearing rumbling in the back and I'm like, what the heck is going on? So I just turned my camera on. I just turned it on because I didn't know what was going on, who was in the back, you know, who was fussing. If you can, you, you know, if you've seen that video, if, if you haven't, go see it. But you can see, you can tell that something's going on in the back of the store when I cut my camera on. You don't even really see who it is or what's going on. So, but when you can literally see who it is going on, because I didn't even know it was the people from the store. Because there were people behind the counter at, you know, where you go pay for your money. It was people standing there. So I'm like, okay, what's going on? You know, and I see she's fighting with the um, Asian man. That's why I want to say Asian. Because I don't know if he was Japanese, Chinese, Korean. I don't know. I just say Asian, right? And um, she's, he's with this little, this girl and they're tussling about something. I don't still don't know at this point what's going on. I just see people in the store because this is when it first started and they kind of work their way to the front of the store and everybody's kind of trying to figure out, okay, what's going on? You know, did she take something from the stores? Why is he trying to grab her bag? Blah, blah, blah. And, um, you find out that I guess he suspects her stealing something because no one ever says what's going on because the the gentleman he does speak English but the English is you know it's not like you know I guess he doesn't speak as good as you know us but you can understand him he's a really 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 nice man and um you find out I guess they're stealing from the store now I used to live right next door to this store at apartment complex next door and I heard stories, you know, I've went to the store before uh, and I heard stories that he shot people, you know, people keep stealing from this man, you know, he got to protect his store some kind of way, you know, it's ridiculous, you know, that you even got to go in there and steal, period, you know, as far as I'm concerned, you know, but people started calling the police, you know, and people were in the store basically like, why the police not here? And in the beginning of the video, you can clearly see that this one man was trying to help this girl and help this man i mean help the chinese man get the um the asian man you know telling the girl just let the bag go but kind of trying to be limited with what he did because you don't really want to get yourself in trouble you know what i'm saying intervening in something and you don't know what's going on and the law is not there you know and it is he the store owner even if somebody's stealing they're not supposed to hold you back anyway you know if they if you know you're running and whatever you get away you know they're not supposed to like try to to hold you there and I, I think it's like some law you know against that but at any rate you know I didn't get involved I, yes I was recording but I didn't get involved because I didn't want to get involved you know I didn't it wasn't my thing he had other people in the store working there 
that could have came down and helped him. But that man know what he's doing. He's tired of those people stealing out of his store. So he's doing what he got to do to protect his store. And, you know, yeah, people walked in and out. Pe people were walking in because he did have help there. He had people behind the counter. So even one person could have kept the register. Somebody could have came and helped him. He knew what he was doing. He he was handling his business and he got it done. And she should be shaming herself for even trying to take money from this guy. But I started getting a whole lot of rude, mean things thrown at me from this video. Calling me racist stuff, you know, using the N-word. It, it was just terrible times. And they was like fussing at me. Why you didn't call the police? And I'm like, how you know the police weren't called? You know, just because I was recorded doesn't mean that the police was not called by several people. So just don't assume that no one called the police for this man because they did. It's the sorry ass Prince George's County police that don't come when they're supposed to come. You know, it's not, you know, anybody's fault that they weren't there to be able to assist this man. But the police was called and it was called by several people. They were called. 911 was called again because they were like, it was taking too long. So it the police was being called you know the thing is be mad at the girl for going in the store disrespecting this man and his property trying to take something if she did take something i think she did but i don't know you know he pulled out some shampoo and stuff i really believe that she took it but i just don't know so you know it was just it, it wasn't right how people do on face on um on this youtube and, you know you got a lot of internet gangsters that talk a lot of junk on internet and you know you got some people that'll come to your house and find you so you know you can't be like that with people i'm not like that i do lash out out of anger because i'm mad at how you know people are coming for me and i'm not the one for you to come for but you know, I've been trying to block and remove and try to ignore some of these people because it's just so, 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 so not worth it. And um, just um, just try to be a little bit more respectful, you know, or else you'll be blocked. And I don't mind doing it because I don't know you and I don't have to have you wasting people's time on my channel, calling people racist names, even saying racist things about the, the Asian guy. And I just say like, yeah, you just need to stop it. It's just so not cool. You know, racism is so not cool. It's like so played out. Anybody that's still racist, like you are played out and like you should just crawl under a rock or something because there's just like no need for that type of stupidity. But um, thank you guys for being on my channel, watching my videos. Um, no, I'm not getting paid from all the videos because I do not collect money from Fantasia videos. So I'm not asking you to come there so I can make money, you know, but just keep up with the channel because I try to bring little fresh stuff. Sorry, it's the length of the time between the shows that get Fantasia shows and everything, but I'm just glad that you guys are here, that you're watching. Share my channel with people so people can come and I can get more visitors. I love you guys. The more people you come, the more stuff I'll load. And I'm going to start trying to add nail videos and all kind of stuff for you. Even I'm going to be even be doing reviewing things from companies just so that um, I can give you guys something good. So thank you, thank you, thank you. And um, I appreciate you coming to look at the videos and stop being mean if you're being mean on the channel. It's so not cool because you'll be blocked. But love you guys. Appreciate your time and um, thank you for watching me. Have a nice one. Bye.